Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to D Smith. Let's discuss. Man, this, this YSL case is crazy. This YSL trial is crazy. The judge seems suspect to me. We already know the DA office in Atlanta, Fulton County, is just trash. It's dirty. You can't trust him. So apparently, somebody from Germany sent a letter going in on DA Love. Fanny Willis responded, but she also added the judge to the letter. Why would she do that? It is election season, right? Why would she add the judge on that so this letter can get released? To the public. So something ain't right. Something fishy. And the judge and the DA office. Are all in on it together. Check this out. Forwarding to us. The ex party communications you received. From Madam DA Fonnie Willis. Mm -hmm. um, given. The sensitivity. And the history in this case. Of ex parte meetings. Or maybe communications. Would you just. Please request the state. I, I understand probably what was behind that communications. Um, and of course, it is great for a, a boss to buck up and underling who has perhaps been attacked or maligned. But I don't believe that, and I, and I don't think the court does either, that the court should have been copied on that communications, especially one that reads maybe more like a a campaign ad with a sir story in it than um then uh anyway i just don't believe it was appropriate and i would just ask you to please ask the state to halt any future communications ex parte they might want to have with this court that's all i have to say thank you yeah, it's a shame that the court would even have to say something like that but um can you all please communicate to everybody in the DA's office to not have any sort of ex parte communications with the court? So you see how she sound? It, it, it sound like she is in on it. I'm just going to say this to the defense. It sounds so fake, so rehearsed. To me, man, this judge is not to be trusted whatsoever. And y'all may not even know what I'm talking about because I don't think either of you was copied on that email. But Miss um, Love was. Miss hmm? Miss Hilton, you were as well. I do. You're right. I don't know. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. I think we have a different person. And Miss Hilton, she she's another sneaky person. Ah oh, man, these man, that DA office is corrupt, in my opinion. Direct communication with the court, but we but the court sure was that, copied on it, and it could have been an accident. But it, 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 it should have been careful. But the state did not have the initial conversation with the court. That was no, a community know. member, and it was very much a problem. also was not a direct communication with the court. But we understand the court's person. We understand what the court is saying. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I just need to take uh, issue with the fact that it wasn't a direct communication with the court. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Can you hear me now? I didn't mean to act like Matt Sharp. Um, I, I take issue with the, any type of suggestion that this was not a direct communication with the court. It went from Madam DA Fonnie Willis to this court. It was a direct communication to this court. It was inappropriate. It was praising George's RICO statutes to the court, which again was not appropriate, Your Honor. Frankly, I think it might be a good idea to print out the email and make it a court's exhibit to this record. Um, but I think what Ms. Hilton was just saying was that the original communication was not. And, and watching this case, this is what Whitaker does all the time. She always tries to save Miss Love. She always tries to save Miss Hilton. That, that, that's what she does. She always try to say the DA office. Judge Whitaker is not to be trusted. From the district attorney's office, the original communication was 
I don't know who this person is or where in the world they are, um, but some member of the world, member of the public, emailing Miss Love directly, but copying several other people, the court included, because of course our email addresses are a matter of public record. Um, and, you know, I basically ignored it and deleted it. But um, as you all know, because I forwarded the. You probably knew you was getting that email, and Fanny told you, let's play it out like this. Atlanta, <laughs> they not to be trusted, man. That DA office, the judge is not to be trusted. Next communication to everybody. Um, the elected DA, Ms. Willis, made a decision to respond and um, directed that response to Ms. Love, but kept everybody, including the person who had made the original email um, communication and the court on her response to Ms. Love. Why? And I Why would she do that election season? that to be ex parte and that is the reason why as soon as I read it I had Miss Persefield forward it to all counsel because I don't think that should be going on. I so, certainly appreciated that your honor. And the court really has ignored entirely the substance of the communication because the court is not making any decisions based on whether I think the RICO statute is good or bad that's not what judges do. The legislature enacts statutes. I apply them, hopefully correctly. And, and I, no or concern. whether the anybody thinks any attorney is doing a good or a bad job. I'm just sitting here trying to follow the law. Her job is to call balls and strikes. That's it. But to me, she seems to call the most balls for the DA office to me that's how I see it let's go yeah and I'm not concerned about any impact on the court from that communication yeah. it's just the communication itself thank yeah. you so uh, Ms. Persfield if you don't mind printing that out and I have no idea what court exhibit number we're on but if somebody can figure that out so let's take a look at the letter so you can find this letter on Bugger Daily on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. So this person is from Germany. Why SL Rico case is the subject? What are you doing? Dear Miss Love, I've been watching your behavior for quite some time now and I'm wondering how could you be so bad at your job after all these years of experience? So the judge has said this a few weeks ago. The new judge who is trying to help you initially is fed up with you finally. Everybody's saying that now. You are ruining your career and what is left of the reputation of the Fulton County DA's office. Too late. Please just rest this case or you will get into so much more trouble. Maybe you are going to lose your job. And will have issues in finding a new one because your unprofessional behavior and your haphazard in organized ways of working are on display for everyone to see. Meaning the whole world is watching this case now. Please just do the right thing. You are going to lose this case anyway because you lost a jury about six months ago. Probably, probably a year ago. And what is eventually going to come out is that young thug is innocent anyway. He is not Pablo Escobar. Fact. But you are acting like it. Just stop it, please. Miss Love, kind regards from Germany. <laughs> Where's the lie at? Where's the lie at? So Fannie Willis responded, right? But she added, Judge, 
Whitaker to this email. I think she did it on purpose. Miss Love, please ignore this foolishness. As you know, the electric DA is extremely proud of you and believes you to be a huge asset to this office in our community. You have no chance of losing your job. And your service is greatly appreciated. Folks who never tried a case will always have nasty things to say. But while they criticize from the sidelines, they fear the arena. They are not risking life and limb to keep your community safe. Let me tell you an antidote of encouragement. This morning, a good friend of mine called this weekend and, and said she was in an Uber. And the Uber driver randomly began talking about being from Memphis and how much violence there was in Memphis. Why she choose Memphis? Young Dolph, right? She said the Uber driver said in Memphis they do not have the ability to do a Rico. He said, I'm so proud of our DA here in Atlanta. In the YSL team. They are not afraid and they are fighting for justice. I tell you this random antidote to encourage you to brush your shoulders and keep the eye on the prize, which will always be justice. Now, this part right here, please know that your boss gets a hundred nasty messages and a hundred nasty nice messages a day. But I chose to send this one to Judge Whitaker. <laughs> I focus on one thing every day representing my community in a way that is fair. I'm asking you to continue to focus on justice and ignore the haters. I'm extremely proud of you. You know what? You go make it a nice, amazing day. Was it planned? The more and more I think about it, yes. It's election season. Let me get this letter out here. Judge Whitaker, you know we friends. Let's go. Hey, but this is another video. Ashley Merchant is on Adrian Love right now because she said she was on some bull crap with Lil D. But that's another video. Let me know what you think about this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's discuss. I'm out of here.